Hey guys! Since New Year's Eve is just around the corner, let's paint a firework scene using acrylic paint in celebration of this upcoming event. Let's start with the river first. I first use pyrrole red, cadmium yellow and a little bit of titanium white to create a soft orange color. This is going to be the very middle of the river. And then I use more red paint and blend it in while moving outwards making this orange darker on the sides. If you notice your brush is too dry, simply dip the brush into a little bit of water so you can blend everything a lot better. Next, I used ultramarine and mixed it with the red paint together to create this really dark plum purple color. This is going to be the dark areas of the river. But since I also wanted to add a really bright purple in between, I used magenta and ultramarine to create this really vibrant lilac color because ultramarine and the pyrrole red are a bit too warm to create this purple I had in mind, so I switched to magenta. And then I blended everything together using the red paint, a mixture of purple and white to just create hints of highlights and shadows here and there. To create shadows in the water, I lightly went from one side to the other using the dark red to add thin dark lines in the water. We still want to see the brush strokes looking through so the water looks a little bit more realistic. Next, I used ultramarine and the same red colored paint as in the beginning to create a very dark purple for the sky. I didn't want to use black because I didn't want to make the sky completely dark, rather lit by all the colors around it. The texture the acrylic paint will create once it's dry will come in handy when we paint the fireworks. Once the paint is dried, we can start adding the details. Now since I wanted to add depth to the painting, I decided to add a little bit of smoke from all the fireworks above the river. So I used all the different colors that I used in the beginning and just softened them a little bit with white paint. I started off by dabbing on the paint, creating small little round shapes and then used the dry brush to blend out the paint. I tried to apply it like clouds with brighter areas on top and darker areas on the bottom. While doing that, I tried to add similar colors to the smoke that are below them so it looks like the fireworks cast this colored shadow on them. And to make them look softer, I used a dry brush as I mentioned earlier and kind of blended out the paint. This way we will make the paint a lot more fluffier and make it fade out in the sky. Now this looks kind of out of place right now, but don't worry, once we add the fireworks, it will look a lot more put together. Alright, now to create the fireworks, load up your thin brush with white paint and then add small dots of watercolor paint somewhere above the river and then quickly move the brush outwards. But make sure that you don't just paint the line. You rather want to quickly brush over the paper and lift it up so you have a thicker line around the center that becomes thinner when you lift the brush. The texture of the dried acrylic paint underneath will also help you create a pattern in the brush stroke that looks more like dotted lines and this will make the firework look a lot more lively. And this is what you want to do with all the fireworks. From here you can use any color you like. I try to keep the color scheme of the water, but you can go crazy with it. I basically switched between white paint and any other color that I had on my mixing palette. But to make it look more obvious that this is a river, we can add a few boats and lights to the water and the hills that will be in the background. I simply used the dark purple color and added a little bit of paint in a square shape here and there on top of the water. These are going to be the boats. And to add light to the scene, I used white paint and added small dots of paint to the hill in the background that is super dark, but you can still see all the lights in the houses. And I also added the paint to the boats, but this time you want to add the white light reflection below the boats as well. So add the white paint and then lightly brush over the paint below it to create the reflection in the water. And from here you can adjust everything. I added more fireworks around the smoke area, added a little bit more shadows here and there until I was happy with the fireworks scene. It looks really abstract when you look up close, but I think it captures the scene really well when you look from further away. What do you guys think? Also, thank you guys for all the support throughout the years, it means so much to me and I wish you an amazing new year filled with love, happiness and of course, lots of art. 
Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.